Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to build something special, really special. I guarantee you that you are not going to forget this build. Uh, so what is it then? Well, it's a fully DIY table lamp. This can be used for when you're studying and uh, completing your homeworks or I don't know. You can uh, be creative and you can uh, take inspiration from uh, this video. And uh, I wish you uh, good luck with the building process. And let's start and you can enjoy the video. I began by placing the voltage converter on the plywood base. After that I marked out the holes on the wood. After that I have marked out the holes for the screws. I began to screw the screws in place. I used the screws from the Klaus Olsen shop, aka IKEA shop. I fetched a broken micro USB cable and snapped off the micro USB end, so that I ended up with the USB A connector. Then I got rid of the rubber around. After that I marked out the holes for the switch and potentiometer. I drilled out the hole for the potentiometer and the switch, and then sanded them both down with sanding paper. Then I inserted the switch. I also drilled the hole in the second wood piece and in the bash sheet so that the cable can be threaded in. Looks quite good in my book. I cut out a venting hole for the CPU cooler. The fan will push cold air through the radiator taking away the heat created by the LED. The air will be collected through the venting hole in the brush sheet. Some time later. The result looks quite rubbish and therefore it needs a quick filing. That sounds quite powerful. The end result is good even though not much effort was put in. This is the end result of my soldiering. If you want me to make a schematic video on this project then comment below. If there will be enough comments then I will make a video. I can now glue the panel to the base of the lamp. The rest of the parts can be also glued using hot glue. It is time to just secure the potentiometer in place by screwing the bolt. Now the variable resistor needs to be turned until the red LED turns off. By this the PC fan will not get toasted or fried. Now a hole needs to be drilled into the knob for the potentiometer. I will use eye and ear protection for the following activity. I will also create this beautiful construction. You can guess three times what it is made for. Now I will sand down the following wooden piece using a disc sander. Looks good in my opinion and also it is fitting in perfectly. The side panel of the lamp can be glued in place. I drilled two holes into the back of the lamp, both into the wood and brass sheet. Stupid me! I soldiered the blue USB cable too early. Now I need to cut the cable in half for later. In the meantime, I will glue the PC fan to the brass sheet. 
I used hot glue for this operation. Now I will screw the brass sheet in place. I come to chunk the hole so that the screws can be flush with the surface. Now it's time for some soldiering! What I didn't know was that my soldiering iron died. This is what happens if you buy too cheap. Now I will need to use the illegal gun for soldiering. Crap! At least I can work out with this green brick. It is now much harder to soldier, but the results are not so bad even though it is not one of the lightest soldiering irons. That sounds quite powerful. Now I need to add some heat shrink tubes to the cables for the LED and the PC fan. The result is impressive! Now I soldier the USB cable with the other end. Now I am repairing my stupid mistake. At least I am going to learn how to soldier cables together better. Now I will thread the cables for the PC fan and the LED through the pre-made hole. I glue the side piece and roof. Now it is time to use a bit of heat shrink tube and shrink it at the temperature of 170 celsius degrees. Then I secure the road of cables with some white straps. In this case perfection is always important. Good, it works! And I also needed to adjust the voltage board. In the end, the hole for the board was quite unnecessary. Looks quite good in my book. This lamp can be powered from this large battery. After 30 years of waiting for this stupid thermal paste, it finally arrived from its vacation. Now the real lamp can be applied. Now we can unsoldier the little lamp and replace it with the true one. Bye bye with you. Now the desired heat paste can be applied carefully onto the copper surface.
the hole needs to disappear. It is destroying the look of my lamp. So I will process the wood peat for it and then apply it on top covering the stupid mistake. So now it's uh, time to finish off this project. It was a really long project and I really enjoyed it and uh, I hope you also enjoyed it. So through sweat, blood and tears uh, I have managed to build up this beauty. Look at this. You can't see even nothing beautiful than this. I will uh, maybe replace uh, this one by this so we will see and uh, I really like it and uh, it's time to share your opinion and what do you think about it so it's only just to comment below uh, your opinion also about this project what I can do better feedback I don't know just comment something uh, and uh, yes I will end this project like now uh, so it's only just to subscribe if you like this video really and this project and uh, if you want to see more and also don't forget to smash the uh, thumbs up or uh, not dislike I mean like so but don't smash the screen on your phone promise me that okay uh, so I will end it here and uh, uh, stay safe, enjoy, and have a great Christmas. So, so we will end it here. I can adjust the brightness. It's really cool. Do you hear the fan? I would like it really much. Yeah, congrats if you have made it uh, to this point. What are we going to do now? Just to only watch. It's time to end here. Here I end this project.